Hey, this is Eric Bryan with Auto Trader, and this is my 2007 Honda Odyssey Touring. Now, there isn't anything particularly special about this Odyssey. It's just like every other Odyssey you see on the road every day, but there is one unusual thing about it that you might have noticed about other Odysseys on the road. To learn more about this weird quirk I'm about to show you, click on the link below and check out my column on autotrader.com oversteer. I'm talking about the wheels. When I bought this Odyssey about a year ago, it came with these aftermarket wheels, and I didn't think much of it at the time until I realized why it didn't come with the original Honda wheels. Now this is a top-of-the-line Odyssey Touring, which has a lot of features that a lot of lesser Odysseys didn't have, like a power tailgate, navigation, a DVD player, and even special tires that were specific to the Touring trim. But these were no ordinary tires. Oh no, this was a special tire system called the Michelin Pax system with run-flat technology. In Honda's own words, with Michelin Pax system standard on the Odyssey Touring model, you'll enjoy a great new level of confidence driving in an uncertain world. In the event of a puncture, you can still travel at 50 miles per hour up to 125 miles. Okay, so it's just some fancy run-flat tire. There are lots of cars that come standard with run-flat tires, but the thing about the Michelin Pax tires is that you can't buy them anymore. They just don't make them anymore. So why don't Odyssey drivers just get different tires that are the same size? Simple, because they don't exist. Here's the next part of Honda's sales pitch for the Pax system. Its specially designed larger wheel contains a flexible support ring and is anchored to a unique low-profile tire that even enhances handling. Pax system is the latest in run-flat tire technology and has been featured on some of Europe's most luxurious vehicles. So the Odyssey Touring not only came with special tires, but also special rims. And the rim size isn't even in inches. It's 460 millimeters, which is about 17 and a half inches. And the tire size is 235-710R460A. But the Odyssey isn't the only car that used the PAC system. A few other cars with this weird feature include the Toyota Sienna, the Nissan Quest, the Acura RL, oh, and one more the Rolls-Royce Phantom. That's right, three Japanese minivans, an Acura sedan, and a Rolls-Royce were the only cars sold in the U.S. that use these weird Michelin Pax tires. As it turns out, these special high-tech tires for European luxury cars weren't even that good. There were so many complaints about poor wear performance and difficulty in getting these tires and wheels serviced that a class action suit against Honda was settled in 2008, which was the same year that Michelin gave up on the Pax system. People started noticing that you can't get these wheels and tires serviced at any old tire shop because it required special equipment and a specially trained staff. Not to mention the fact that you just couldn't buy any other tires because of the weird size. Here's another fun feature of the pack system. Since it was a run-flat tire, Honda didn't feel the need to include a spare tire. So you get this big bulge in the back of your van, and it's empty. So if you want a spare tire, you have to go buy one, which I should probably get around to doing at some point. So the obvious solution is to depax your minivan and just get completely different wheels and tires, because that's easier than trying to find tires that fit the original 460 millimeter tire size for this Odyssey. Ever since I figured this out, I noticed a lot of other Odysseys of the same vintage also have aftermarket wheels, presumably for the same reason. So the next time you see an old Honda minivan with aftermarket wheels, the owner probably isn't trying to be cool. They just want to be able to buy normal tires. If you're going to be on the lookout now for this strange quirk, like this video and subscribe to Auto Trader for more.